Hi guys, welcome to this module on Microsoft Project. In this session, I want to have a look at how you create custom fields. So on the screen at the moment, in the table that you can see, there are three columns with custom fields. Completion status, a delayed start column, and a delayed finish column. So basically this one has got graphical indicators showing you green for completion, and amber if there was any amber for between 25 and 75 percent and then red for less than 25 and then for anything that's not started this little dash now the delayed column the first task was on time but everything else was delayed there's a formula in there which i'll show you how to do in a second and then this one everything delayed finish everything was delayed except the first one and this one because even though the start was delayed um, time was picked up and it actually did finish on time. So there's a statement in there, an if statement in there showing you how to do that. So to create these, you basically need to go into custom fields or custom fields at the bottom there. I just need to delete these ones that's already there and then we'll just recreate them. And so the first one was completion. status you can call it whatever you want as long as you don't use a name that's already used and then the formula that i need to put into that column is from the functions option in general it's this one i i f immediate if it means basically you have an expression and then something to do if it's true and then something to do if it's false so the one that we're going to create is going to be slightly more complicated than that I'm just going to get rid of all of that and what I want to use as my trigger for the if statement is the percentage complete column which is under number percentage complete so if the percentage complete equals 100 that means it's finished comma I want it to return a number one comma now I need to do another if statement. Normally you do a negative there, what to do if it's false, but you can do another if statement. So I, I, F, open the bracket. Go get your field again, number. So if percentage complete is greater than or equals to 75, comma, that's going to be a 2, comma. And then another if statement, I, I, F, open the normal bracket. Go and get the field. You can type the field in, but I like to click on it just in case I do a typo. So now it's going to be if that is greater than or equal to 25, comma, 3. Then you can put whatever range you, you like. And then the last if statement, comma, I, I, F, open the bracket. Get the field if it is greater than or equals to 0, comma, 4. Now there are four if statements, so I need four close brackets. One, two, three, four. And if there's a mistake, it will surely tell you. If I click OK to that, it tells you it's going to be changed over. There's no mistake. So now if I click OK, I get some numbers, which is great, but I don't want to see numbers. I want to see um, graphical indicators. So back into custom fields that's selected still graphical indicators at the bottom so if it equals one i want the image to be a green circle if it equals i'm just typing e if it equals two i want that to be a amber circle if it equals three i want that to be a red circle and if it equals four which means it's not started i just want a dash so that is just a little bit further down a little red dash or whatever color you want now that should replace the numbers with those dashes you can still hover over and it'll tell you the number that the if statement's returning so there's no twos coming back at the moment so that's okay now that's that one and they're all delivered or changed by the completion status. So if I go back onto this one, for example, and take it to zero, it gets the dash. 25, 50, 
75 goes amber and then it was on 100 so I'll put it back on 100 now the next one um, if if I go back into there, it's gone like this because I've, del I've deleted it. It's actually got the information there still. So if I just go back into it, custom fields and formula. So what I'm going to do here is, before I go into custom fields and formula, let me just show you. I've saved this as a baseline one, set baseline. So there's a baseline saved there. So I can measure against that baseline. So what I want to do now is any task that was that started later than the baseline planned start, I want it to say delayed, otherwise it can say on time. So just cancel that off. Now back into customized fields. So this one is going to be delayed start, delayed start. You can, again, you can call it whatever you want. And then the formula is going to be another if statement. So general IIF, Get rid of all of this. And then, so, date. So if actual start is greater than baseline start, so date, baseline start, and I want the first baseline, that's the first baseline. So obviously if you're gonna, if you're saving lots of baselines, you'd have to do additional columns for the additional baselines that you save. So if that is true, so if our actual start is greater than the baseline start, we are going to be delayed. So comma, now to put a word or a phrase, you have to use quotes like that, comma. Now that's if, if it's greater than, so if it's equal to, I want it to be on time, um, so I can just put on time. So if it's greater than, it's going to say delayed. If it's not greater than, it's going to say on time. So I'll just put that on there. And again, you can add additional things on this one. I'm just going to keep it simple for now. Um, we'll just click OK to that. OK again, and then OK. And then let's put those on time on time now the finish one if i go back into that one custom fields rename that as delayed finish now there may well be project fields that you can utilize to do the same sort of stuff but i like to do my own little formulas then you know what they are actually doing. So if I go again and get an if statement, general if, get rid of all this. So this time we want the finish. So field date, if the baseline finish, in fact, if actual finish, first off, is greater than the baseline finish, date, Baseline finish, baseline finish, the first one. If that's true, comma, we are delayed, a delayed task. So if actual finish is greater than the baseline finish, we are delayed, comma. Now you could do another if statement there, but again, I'm gonna keep this fairly simple. It's up to you. There is a limit on how many ifs you can do, and it gets a bit complicated, and um, you may well do typos, which causes a syntax error to come up. But if I just keep it simple for this, if I say um, if it's delayed or it's on time, again, just put the quotes around on time. And let's have a look at what this does. Click OK, OK, OK. So those three were on time. These are delayed. Now the reason that one's on time is because I actually changed the duration to two days actual. Now I, I did that, not in this table, but if I just change this table on the view tab to show you that on the tracking table, the, the, the baseline um, duration, if I insert the baseline duration, so I want baseline 
duration, that one. So the baseline duration was three days, but it actually only took two days. That's how that came back and ended up finishing on time. So initially it would have finished a day late, but because the actual duration was reduced by one day, it finished on time. And that's why you need to have that if statement to pick that up. Now, because I've messed up the entry table, what I should really do with this is go to the view tab tables and save fields in a new table. And I'll call this one um, delayed status. Okay. And then I can get rid of these three. In fact, let me just, before I get rid of them, let's go back to the entry, get rid of them from the entry table, just highlight them and delete them. So you've not messed up the entry table. And if you now need to get that table, you can just click on it and you've got those three customized columns back again, ready to go. And that's really how you should be doing things in projects. Anyhow, you create your own tables. I don't know what process is, so it's not relevant to this, this database. That one, that one is. And then that one, don't know what that's doing. Okay, it's just a table of different columns that I've created. But delayed status makes more sense. Process makes sense. That my name, my nickname doesn't really make any sense. So you'd create the tables um, and you can add columns, not just custom columns like I've done, but you could just create a table from scratch and just delete or add columns as you feel fit. And then you use this to get your information rather than trying to memorize which column is in which of these tables. And then obviously you've got all these other ones at the bottom as well. Okay, guys, so that's the end of this session. Hopefully I'll see you on your next one. Thank you for your time.